All right, Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all praise, glory, and honor unto Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem Arakakodash. A double honors unto the elders and apostles of GMS Great Millstone. And a sincere Shalom to you, Akim, bringing out this word in diligence and in truth. And now this uh, first precept I want to grab is coming from the book of Revelation 12 and 12. Matter of fact, I'll start at 10. And I heard a loud voice saying in heaven, Now has come salvation and strength, and the kingdom of our power, Yahweh, and the power of his anointed, Yahweh Shai. For the accuser of our brethren is cast down, which accused them before our power, Yahweh, day and night. Now we understand Esau is the accuser of thy brethren, man. And the persecution in which the elect are going to have to endure hey, is coming, man. Hey, but Yahweh Bashim al Shai is going to is going to fight for his men. You know? And that's all throughout the scriptures, man. We read account after account after account uh, of righteous men, a full of faith, whom Yahweh Bashim al Shai fought for, man. Because they fought for him. A hey, scripture tells us the Most High is not unrighteous to forget your works and labor of love, man. So when these trials come, a hey, Yahweh Bashim al Shai is also going to show forth miracles. Hey, because he did it in the time of the ancient men, and he's going to do it now, man. You know, hey, for example, when uh, Elijah, you know, when uh, the, the army came came to him to, to seize him, what happened? The chariot rained down fire, man, twice. Twice, man. The first time they did it, what? The, the chariot uh, shot forth the, the lasers, the concentrated fire on the army. The second time they came for him, they did it again. Uh, the chariot did it again, you know? And what happened the third time? They they begged him just to come with him, man. Because they seen that the power was with him. So, they, hey, a lot of miracles and, and, you know, things that we can't even, you know, fathom, man. Hey, we're going to be witnesses unto it, man. And hey, we're going to be in it. So it says, 11, and they overcame him by the blood of the lamb, which is Yahweh Shai, and by the word of their testimony, and they loved not their lives unto death. Hey, because understanding, hey, Yahweh Shai has it written that some of us, Hey, we'll have to be martyrs, man. You know, but the scriptures say what? Not all of these shall taste of death, right? But nevertheless, we understand that's, hey, that's still written. Hey, but those that, that um, you know, are martyrs, guess what? The scriptures say the dead in Yahweh shall, shall arise first, man. Hey, they will be rewarded for that for that work, man. It says, um, therefore rejoice ye heavens and ye that dwell in them. Woe to the inhabitants of the earth and of the sea. For the devil has come down unto you having great wrath because he knoweth that he hath but a short time, man. So I want to grab some precepts. Um, this is coming from the book of 1st. I'm sorry, Psalms 21. And 11. And it reads, for they intended evil against thee. And this is Esau and Jake, man. You know, because a hey, Jake hates their own, man. Hey, you see what they did unto, unto Yahweh Shai, man. And we're and we're we're less than that. So how much more are they gonna persecute us? Right? It says the servant is not greater than his Lord. And we have to also a uh, bear those uh bear his cross, man. It says, For they intended evil against thee, they imagined a mischievous device which they are not able to perform. And that's the point, man. Yahweh Bashim al Shai ain't gonna allow Esau to just do anything to brothers, man. You know? Hey, we're still, we're still men. You know, the scripture still tells us, a hey, precious in the sight of the Lord is the death of his saints. Hey, but still, he's still going to fight, man. He's still going to fight for us. He's going to allow us to go through certain things, hey, because hey, he that endureth unto the end, the same shall be saved. Yahweh Bashim al is still going to test us. You know, he's still going to put us in uncomfortable, uncomfortable positions. Hey, to, to see of what uh, uh, metal we're made out of, man. See, the scriptures say, Hey, we're going to be tried as gold is, is, is tried, man. As it's refined. Meaning what? Hey, that is going through a pressure of, of extreme heat and pressure. It's going through a process, Salakia, of extreme heat and pressure. Right? The saying, uh, what do you say? Um, uh, heat, pressure, uh, pressure busts pipes, but pressure also makes diamonds, man. You know? It also makes diamonds. It refines you. This is uh, Isaiah 59. And. Uh, so like it. Mm -mm -mm. This is Isaiah 60. Mm -mm -mm. This is. um. Mm -hmm. 
Все вроде. It's like I didn't see it. This is Isaiah 59 and um 19. And it reads it's like it 18. It's a lot. Mm, 17. For he put on righteousness as a breastplate and an helmet for salvation and a helmet of salvation upon his head. And he put on the garments of vengeance for clothing and was clad with zeal as a cloak. Right? Because when you go back into uh, Ephesians 6, chapter it tells us say the breastplate of righteousness, the helmet of salvation, uh the shield of faith. You know, uh, feet shot with the preparation of the gospel of peace. It says 18, according to their deeds, according, accordingly, he will repay fury to his adversaries, recompense to his enemies, to the islands. He will repay recompense, man. So Yahabashim Asha is going to put in work hey, for his men. The scriptures say the angels encampeth about round about those that fear the Lord, man. 19, so shall they fear the name of the Lord, Yahabashim Asha, from the west and his glory from the rising of the sun. When an enemy shall come in like a flood, the spirit of Yahweh by Shemel Shah shall lift up a standard against him, man. Hey, so guess what, man? The Lord is going to bring forth that divine power and protect you. And there's there's multiple accounts. Matter of fact, I want to grab this one in um, the prayer of Azariah or Azariah. You know, it goes into the, the, the three holy children um, whose Babylonian names was uh, Shadrach, Meshach. And Abednego, whose uh, Hebrew names were um, Ananias, Azarius, and Misael. This is a prayer of Azariah. Matter of fact, I'm going to start here at... Um, it speaks about that wind. A moist, whistling wind, as the scripture says. Matter of fact, I'm going to start at the top and I'm going to jump down. It says, and they walked in the midst of the fire, right? And this was after they were placed in that furnace. Praising Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai and blessing the Lord. Then Azarius stood up. And prayed on this manner, and opening his mouth in the midst of the fire, said, Blessed art thou, O Lord Yahweh of our fathers. Thy name is worthy to be praised and glorified forevermore. Now I'm going to jump down, you know, to get into the, 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 the good, the good. This is uh, 23. It says, In the king's service that put them in, put them in, seized not to make the oven hot with rosin, pitch tote and small wood basically fuel for the fire so that the flame stretched streamed forth above the furnace 40 and nine cubits and it passed through and burned those chaldeans it found about the furnace right the scripture said the flame ate them up that uh that that put them in there right it says but the angel of the lord yahweh shai came down into the oven together with azarius and his fellows and smote the flame of the fire out of the oven and made the mist of the furnace as it had been a moist whistling wind so that the fire touched them not at all, neither hurt nor troubled them. Hey, so in the midst of their in the midst of their persecution, or at the peak at the pinnacle of their persecution, what happened? Yahweh Bashim Shah stepped in hey, and disannulled anything that Esau had planned for their downfall. Disannulled uh Esau's plans, and guess what? And, and and showed forth his power. He showed forth his power in the midst of their persecution. So it's gonna be the same for us, man. He's gonna show forth. His power and why he's to be glorified and why he's to be prayed. It's like it praised in the midst of your persecution, man. Yahweh Bashim is about to show a hey, us a lot of miracles, man. Lord willing, we be those men. There's going to be a lot of miracles. It's going to be a, a lot of uh, spiritual greatness hey, that, that we witness, man. Hey, even, even before peak persecution. Hey, because we're we're back in the, the time of the book of Acts, you know, where the apostles were healing. They were casting out devils, you know, a hey, uh, many thousands of Jake started to believe because hey, they needed to see an actual miracle to believe, man. You know, many were converted and healed through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, man. Same thing today. And these miracles are, are going to go viral, as you say, man. And that's all it takes. For people to see it, next thing you know, that's that's enough for Jake, you know, because certain certain Israelites have to actually see it to believe it, you know. And when we look back at uh, the account of Thomas, man, you know, he said, hey, he wants to see that the Lord, hey, the, the, he wants to feel the prick in his hands, 
You know, he wants to he wants to actually see him to believe it. And the Lord said, what? Blessed are those that have not seen yet still believe. Right. But that was the point right there. And I think I got another pre. I wrote them down here. It's Psalm 7. Oh, yeah, yeah, kind. You know, this is just a, a lesson before camp. <clears throat> this is uh, Psalm 7 and 16. So this is, I'm going to close it out here to, to get going. It's Psalm 7 and um, 15. It says, he made a pit and digged it. And, the, and it's fallen into the ditch which he made. So everything that Esau has planned a, in order to, to harm or hurt the Lord's men, a, well, that's all going to be recompensed unto him. And recompense back unto him, Salakia. You know, all these devices, you know, all these wiles that he has. Hey, he's going to have to eat of that. This uh, 16, his mischief shall return upon his own head. And his violent dealing shall come down upon his own pate, man. And, uh, I sh um, you know, if you haven't read the prayer of Azarius, you know, if you haven't read the account in Daniel, you know, the whole account is speaking of uh, Ananias, Azarius, and Misael. Hey, it's good to read. It's, it's, a, it's a good faith booster, man. You know? Especially, hey, just read it, man. Just read it. If you haven't read it, read it. If you already read it, read it again, you know? Um, but that was the point of the lesson that the Lord is going to stand up and fight for his men. Those that fight for Yahweh Bashim al Shai, hey, he's going to fight for them as well, man. You know? So I just want to bring this uh, lesson out towards the body. Lord willing, it was edifying. I want to give all praises, glory, and honor unto Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shai, Bashim Arakakwadash. A double honors unto the elders and apostles of GMS Great Millstone. And a sincere shalom to Yaki and bringing out this word in diligence and in truth. Shalom.